Station, this is Melanie Cowan at Aztec. How do you hear me? And Melanie and Aztec, great to hear you. I have you loud and clear. Welcome aboard. Well, thank you for having us, Samantha. I join you together with Madrid, Trento, and Vienna. We have many students that are anxious to hear about Mission X and ask you some questions. So please open the event. It's, it's wonderful to have you all, uh, all there in these different locations. And uh, Paxi says hello, too, by the way. And uh, before we start, I uh, heard that something wonderful happened today, that Astro Charlie made it to the moon, thanks to all the points that you uh, gathered. So congratulations. Thank you. We're now going to Trento for their first question. Hi, Samantha. I'm Theo. I'm 12 years old. And this is my question. Who and how selects the menu for your mission? Well, first of all, hello to a special hello to Trent, um, because it, it's a city I know very well. I've lived in Trent for a year when I went to school, and I grew up in the region, so a special hello. Um, so the menu of our mission, the, the main part of our menu, is uh, produced, selected and produced at the NASA uh, Food Lab in Houston. Uh, however, we also get to bring up a little bit of special food. We call it bonus food. And that is um, selected by us, by the astronauts, and prepared to our taste. And so the, the bonus food that I uh, selected was uh, produced in, uh, in Italy. Um, and I put together the menus together with a um, nutritionist and a um, cook with whom we, sh we share a, 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 you know, the vision that food is really, really important to make us stay healthy and feel well, especially you know, in a stressful environment like the space station. So we have put together really, really healthy ingredients, but all those dishes are also delicious and a pleasure to eat. Thank you. And Trento, your second question, please. Hi, my name is Matilde. I'm 11 years old, and this is my question. Have you got a particular psychological training before and after your mission? Throughout the mission, we have uh, a, a, some psychological assistant, a, assistance. Every two weeks, we have a short conference, 15 minutes, with a psychologist with whom we can talk and they ask questions and they make sure that we, you know, we um, as, as you know, individuals and also as a crew are, are functioning well from a psychological point of view. And then if we had the need, of course, we could talk to them more often. Um, before the flight, uh, we don't really um, work or talk to psychologists that much. Um, but we, we, we do a you know, training that helps us in, in terms of team building and learning to work with each other, learning to know and appreciate each other before we come up to space and, and, and work for a long time in, in this confined environment together. Thank you. We're now going back to Trento. Trento, your next question. Hi, my name is Julia. I'm eight years old and this is my question. In the taste of food in space, difference on, on Earth? Um, I have heard very often from astronauts who said that, that their taste changed a lot in space. Personally, you know, we're all different and, and that's a wonderful thing. Uh, personally, I have not noticed that. I tend to like the same things that I liked on Earth. I tend to like them here on orbit. Uh, so I guess in, in, my, in my case, the question, the answer is no, it, it did not change much. Hi, Samantha. My, na my name is Enrico and I'm 11 years old. In what way do you physical proce processes change, sleeping, eating, walking? Okay, yes, that's a, that's a very interesting question. Um, in terms, you know, of uh, sleeping and uh, eating, uh, in, in many ways it's surprisingly the same. Um, I find myself, uh, um, you know, digesting very well up here, sleeping very well. Of course, it's a little bit different in, in the mechanics of it. Of course, you know, when you sleep, you do not sleep in a bed. We sleep in a sleeping bag and we kind of like float or some of us like to tie themselves down. I like to just float in, in my little cabin, which is my place to sleep. 
um, and it and I kind of like it not not having pressure on my on my body and just float. Um, eating again in terms of swallowing and digestion it works just the same but of course as we mentioned before uh, food is different you know we have to rehydrate it it comes out of pouches um, you know we have to take care that it doesn't you know float around or we don't uh, we have a lot of um, you know food um, uh, getting out of control um, and then in terms of working you have to learn you know to, to set up your workspace to make sure that you um, take care not to lose things everything you have to velcro somewhere or use a bungee to restrain it and at the beginning it's a little bit difficult because we're not used to it and so at the beginning you lose things um, and uh, you know it's hard to take to, to keep everything under control but then uh, with practice like everything you learn well thank you very much samantha i hear we're almost at the end of our time so i'd like to thank you for your time and give you the opportunity to say goodbye to madrid trento and vienna Hey, Madrid, Trento, and Vienna. How wonderful, guys, that you have participated in Mission X. I know that you have learned so much. You have worked hard. So I'm incredibly, incredibly proud of you. Um, I think you've, you've learned things that will accompany you throughout your life. Um, you know, just, just uh, hold on to those things that you have learned. Share them with your peers, with your friends, and uh, keep your passion for space. And I hope that many of you, maybe one day, I will meet as, uh, as colleagues in the space business. That would be wonderful. So thank you and uh, good luck to you. Well, thank you, Samantha. Everyone in the countries are cheering and smiling, and I think you have over 700 happy students today. They've had a wonderful day, and we'll continue Mission X for a lifetime of fitness and good health. <laughs>